Cari Ferraristi, dear Ferraristi, welcome, benvenuti, and thanks for being here with us to share this important moment. In fact, today we are officially unveiling for the first time the new mid-rear engine two-seater Berlinetta. Like any other Ferrari, this is a special because of the performance, the design, the style, the technology. But in this case, a specific effort has been put to make it uh, the most fun to drive car in our Prada range. And this is something that will deliver an uncompromising and thrilling pleasure while driving, both on track, but also on normal road. The best way to explain it is to drive it. <laughs> this car is named uh, Ferrari 296 GTB, where the 29 stands for the engine displacement, 2,900, and the 6 stands for the V6 engine. This is uh, the first time ever that we are using a V6 engine hybrid on a car, on a road car, carrying the Ferrari badge. The combination of the turbo and hybrid uh, engine will develop 830 horsepower, which makes the most powerful engine in the segment. The combination of uh, the turbo engine is also allowing us to work on the sound, which is further contributing to the fun to drive. And uh, the electric component is uh, allowing us to further reduce almost to zero the turbo leg, which means that there is an immediate response to the throttle. But the engine is not enough. This car is much more compact, especially compared to any other model of the Ferrari Prada range. What we did was uh, to reduce the dimension of the car. The car is much more compact. And most of all, we reduced the distance between the wheel, working on the concept of uh, short wheel base, which is so common in the Ferrari tradition, that uh, makes the car, together with the engine, and together with the new vehicle dynamic control and the newer dynamic, a car that reached an incredible peak of fun to drive. to drive has uh, always been a key characteristic of uh, any Ferrari model, but uh, in this case we really push the boundaries to the limit, putting together a new powertrain, new vehicle control and last but not least a unique design. This is consistent with uh, different Ferraris for different Ferraristi and different moment, which means that we always try to create new model with uh, their own positioning. That's why the 296 GTB is not replacing any other model in our Prada range, but it's simply creating a completely new segment. It's also going to be the second plug-in hybrid model in our range. But uh, while the SF90 Stradale, which is our range supercar, it is designed for drivers that want to reach the peak of the performance. The new model is designed for driver that wants to reach the peak of the emotion of driving. And uh, you don't have to be Charles Leclerc or Carlos Sainz to enjoy it. But there is something more to discover. And uh, for the one of you that want to fully exploit the car's dynamic abilities, we have created the new Ferrari 296 GTB Assetto Fiorano. To develop it, uh, we have been working on uh, further reducing the weight through an extensive use of carbon fiber components. A new, more extreme handling, thanks to the racing-derived uh, suspension, 
and uh, last but not least, uh, a new dedicated livery. Ferrari and the concept of uh, fun to drive are an inseparable combination, and the new formula adopted for the 296 GTB strengthened that bond still further. The epitome of sportiness, performance, and driving thrills at their best. di guida, fun to drive. This was the key target developing the 296 GTB. People state it's not possible to measure and to design fun to drive. But this is not the truth. The truth is we can. So what are the three ingredients to solve this secret? First, sound. Second, perceived acceleration and third go-kart feeling so let's try <laughs> The first point is the sound. The sound has to follow two principles. One is that with the acceleration and higher revs, the volume has to increase. And the second point is that not only the volume, but also the quality of the sound has to change. With low revs, we have low frequencies, and with high revs, we have high frequencies. And this gives this typical Ferrari sound. We call it music because this is really a very, very emotional element of driving a Ferrari. But now let's try to make an acceleration and listen to the sound of the 296 GTB. How was this? We worked a lot on the engine architecture, on the combustion and on the exhaust system to create this magnificent sound. The second element is perceived acceleration. Not acceleration like zero to 100, and you can measure it. This is what you can feel in your stomach, in your body, if you put the pedal to the metal. And obviously the core for that is the powertrain. The core of this powertrain is an V6 with a 120 degree hot V layout, which allowed us to achieve an extremely compact body and introduce an electric engine without compromising the dimensions of the car. This engine has 2.9 liters displacement, 663 horsepower, and this leads us to the best automotive specific power output, 221 horsepower per liter. This is world record without turbo lag. We combine this V6 engine with an electric motor and in total we have on this car 830 horsepower. And the powertrain is completed by an 8-speed double clutch transmission gearbox which has the fastest gear changes in the market. The electric motor is powered by a battery with the best specific power weight ratio in the automotive industry and this allows us to have a 25 kilometer electric range.
The third element for fun to drive is the go-kart feeling. That means that every command of the driver has to lead to a direct, immediate reaction of the car. We have three elements worked on this car, which was first, the weight. So reduce the weight as much as we can. And we reached 1.77 kilogram per horsepower. The second element is inertia. The wheelbase is 50 millimeters shorter than on the F8. This leads to less inertia and more agility of the car. And the third element, and here we have a world premiere, is a new sensor with six sensors, which allows us to control better the car and to develop a new ABS EVO system. This reduces the brake distance by almost 10%, but obviously a Ferrari can't be only fun to drive. To give you only two numbers, from 0 to 100 in 2.9 seconds and from 0 to 200 in 7.3 seconds. You see, best in class performance with absolute fun to drive. The design of the Ferrari 296 GTB redefines the identity of the mid-rear engine two-seater Berlinetta, giving the car an extremely compact line with a modern original stance that instantly underscores its sporty character. Come with me, I'll tell you more. Uh, its proportions are completely different. The wheelbase was shortened to underscore the car's agility allowing us to give the car an extremely light, sleek, compact architecture that is also spare and clean, like a moving sculpture. The cabin is compact and wraps around the occupants, in part thanks to the vertical rear screen. It develops along a flying bridge theme, culminating in the powerful muscle of the rear wings, which is a modern interpretation of the signature styling cues from the Ferrari DNA, seen on the 250LM, for example. The design of the rear is really uh, original and centers around the cam tail, which sports the newly designed dual-like uh, tail lights that are perfectly integrated with the active spoiler, which is invisible when not deployed. The finishing touch to the rear comes from the novel new central tailpipe, which not only completes the design of the rear, but also uh, underlines its character. The front of the car is extremely uh, clean and spare. The new lights stand out in particular because they are a modern interpretation of the teardrop headlights of the past. In this case, they are paired with air intake for the brakes. The wide central grille hides the radiators while lower down there is a kind of suspended wing which is a smaller version of those already seen in uh, Formula 1. The cockpit adopts the same pure sporting aesthetic language as the exterior and is designed around the driver. The dashboard architecture creates a clearly defined instrument binnacle angled towards the driver and uh, carved out of a deep cleft into the dash trim uh, from which it emerges uh, along with the steering wheel and all digital instruments. A bold invention of the classic H gate, the so-called cancelletto dominates the center console that is another link with the Marcus DNA but with a very modern and contemporary twist. The cabin trim is an exclusive example of Italian leather craftsmanship and also includes noble technical materials like uh, metal uh, and carbon fiber for the functional components. Even the seats have been completely redesigned in order to give the entire cockpit a very modern and futuristic touch. To keep weight to an absolute minimum, we have also redesigned the racing seats using a carbon fiber shell. When we were designing the 296 GTP, we strove to achieve absolute formal purity 
and a refined yet essential aesthetic. And the result, the final result, is the perfect marriage between sportiness and elegance.